Squishy the Suicidal Pig is a puzzle platformer made by Tomi Marila and Elias Vigloni and published by Panic Art Studios. It was released on the 23rd of October 2014 to Android and Steam. The game begins with our protagonist, the yellow sweater clad Squishy, and his parents on a farm. Unfortunately for Squishy, his parents are taken away to be made into bacon. Saddened at this loss and in the pit of his own despair, Squishy resorts to suicide. Following the obvious religious subtext you would expect about a game involving a pig killing himself, Squishy meets the devil, because suicide is a sin, presumably, who agrees to send him to heaven if he kills himself approximately 30 times. As you can imagine, the game isn't your everyday puzzle platform. In fact, I'd go so far as to say it has a very curious idea, all things considered. The objective of 30 of the levels is to die, which is pretty easy to do, though it generally involves solving a puzzle of various difficulty. The other 10 levels are a mixture of boss fights and key levels, the latter of which involve you trying not to die in order to retrieve a key in order to progress. Honestly, I don't think these levels are needed, and they do make the game spike in difficulty at these points. Not to mention, the boss fights themselves are pretty hard, so it can feel a little imbalanced. The art style is really, really good. Honestly, I'd call the game cute. Simple, fun, and takes the whole aesthetic idea and runs with it. It even manages to make gore look good. I mean, damn, seriously. Not only that, but the sound is really nice too. It all coalesces into a wonderful visual and aural experience. The game has zero performance issues that I could find, and no bugs, so really, no actual complaints here, and no issues with the game at all, honestly. The options menu is practically non-existent though, only being there for a full screen option and that's about it, but the game gets away with it because, well, you don't need to change anything else. The game moves, works and functions fine without any extras. Some people wanted a larger window size or upscaled resolution, but I think part of the charm of the aesthetic is that it's in a smaller sort of state. Even in full screen mode, it looks better as it is. I think trying to upscale the resolution or make it look any different to what it already is might alter that and mess about with it, and that's probably not very a good idea to do. In conclusion, the game is simple, fun, and energetic. I gladly recommend it, especially considering the fact that it's only 79 pence and easily worth that for the 10 15 hours you'll get out of it in one playthrough and the game is easily available for replay. Thank you very much for listening, I hope you've enjoyed it. Please feel free to watch it again, repeatedly, and like it and comment as many times as you like. YouTube traffic is always brilliant. Thank you very much, I'll see you next time.